As scientists demand more from space missions traveling to other worlds and beyond, traditional rocket technologies are beginning to show limitations. The solar-powered ion engine used on Smart One cannot compete in terms of brute force with the whoosh of a chemical rocket, but the latter burns for only a few seconds or minutes. An ion engine can go on pushing gently for months or even years, for as long as the sun shines and the small supply of propellant lasts. People may wonder why we want to go to the moon with electric propulsion and taking about one year to get to the moon while with conventional chemical propulsion uh, it's a matter of few days. Uh, this is in fact true, but uh, the real objective of electric propulsion is not a mission to the moon. In fact, if we would make uh, a mission to planet Mercury, instead one would show that with use, by using electric propulsion we would save uh, two, three, four years of uh, traveling time that it would be instead necessary with chemical propulsion. In addition, particularly demanding mission to Mercury or close to the Sun are really impossible with chemical propulsion and only possible with electric propulsion. Such engines have long been the subject of science fiction. Now ESA has helped turn them into a science fact. Using xenon gas as propellant and the power from the spacecraft's solar arrays, Smart One will use its ion engine intermittently over 16 months, fighting against the Earth's attraction to put itself into orbit around the moon. There, Smart One will test a maneuvering technique. After the Ariane 5 uh, rocket will deliver the big spacecraft, then they will put us in orbit in an elliptic orbit, which is called geostationary transfer orbit. And from this, we will be on our own, just using our tiny thruster to leave the Earth and go to the moon. We will then spiral out progressively during a period of about 15 months up to the point where we will start to feel the attraction of the moon. And then we will time an encounter to be captured by the moon. Further, we will have a spiral down to be closer to the moon, and then we will reach the final science orbit from which we can do all the observations that we want to take. But designers of the engine are anxious to know how Smart One's thruster will interact in space with electric and magnetic phenomena around it. Instruments will monitor its performance and the propulsion's effects on the spacecraft and its payload, while sensing the lunar plasma environment. When we come close to the moon, uh, we will have the first ever, at least to my knowledge, plasma instrument that is going to measure what's happening when the solar wind, those protons and electrons, hit the moon and how the, the turbulence, the, the waves and spirals and that, behave behind the moon. That's never been measured before and that's very interesting to the scientists. And one additional component is that because the whole spacecraft instrument system is so sensitive, if there's any dust that the solar wind is blowing from the moon's surface, we will probably detect that, and that's also something that's not done before. The goal of the Smart One demonstration for the ion engine technologies is to deliver the engine, to ensure that we can control it, but also we want to learn how we can optimize the driving of this engine. So we have we are using Smart One, in fact, to get our driving license on this type of engine. And later, when we learn all the tricks of driving this uh, type of engine, we will be able to apply them to more complex vehicles, like those that will be used to go to Mercury, Bepi Colombo, or to go to the Sun with a solar orbiter. For application satellites near the Earth, the use of electric propulsion is already making economic sense. Whether it be on a journey today to the moon or tomorrow to places further afield, missions using electric propulsion offer greater flexibility in space navigation, wider launch windows and require less powerful launches. Soon it will be possible for large telescopes or planetary probes to access deep space destinations using lower mass and at less cost.